You know, this era of 21 Pilots is very unique because for the first time in quite a long time, it's more than just Tyler and Josh on tour together. Because in this era, you have the side band. You got Skylar Cord on bass, Dan Garotti on guitar, Todd Gunman on guitar, keyboard, and violin during the campfire, and Dr. Jesse Blum on trumpet, keyboard, and accordion during the campfire. Each one of those guys are fantastic, incredible musicians. And they, of course, have other bands outside of the the Cybands, stuff of which they've worked on before doing work with T.O.P. and a couple of their projects I've never listened to before, so let's just see their other projects. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, I hope you're having a good day today. Hope your day's going well and hope it continues to go well. Welcome back to me listening to the Psy Band members' other bands. Two weeks ago, we did Skylar Accord and his metalcore band issues, which is really awesome. Last week, we did Dr. Jesse Blum and his now former band Mr. Wives, which I also really enjoyed. And today we're going to be spotlighting Todd Gummerman, who is one of my favorite musicians in the side band because I know the most of his outside work of T.O.P. The band he's most known for outside 21 at the side band is Mute Math, one of my favorite bands of all time. He was in there from Odd Soul up until their last uh, album together, which was Hit Parade. And then he did some other stuff and on his website. You can see all the stuff that he's worked on. He's done some solo work as well. So, for today's episode, I think that we should react to one of his latest solo projects, to one of his earliest solo projects, and let's throw a Mute Math song in there, because how can we talk about Todd Gummerman and not include some Mute Math? So, let's get right into it. This is Todd Gummerman. Also, if you're a gear nerd, there's a lot of videos of Todd talking about his guitar gear and JHS stuff. It's super cool and it's a fun rabbit hole to travel down to. Anyway, on with the music. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to 2020, oh, what year it was, and we're gonna be listening to one of his first singles off of his EP, After Forever. This is called Stay Inside, Fancy Bird. Very pretty piano. It's a very pretty piano. Like the sound of it is super cool too. It's almost like you can hear the foot dampener be put into use as well. I think that's what the sound that you are hearing too, that gives that little percussion element to it. Because it is happening almost on every measure. This is really beautiful so far. I don't know if there's any words, lyrics to the songs. This could be pure instrumental. Because I don't know. But this... I don't mind if it is 100% instrumental. Because this is so pretty. Like, man. This is a song that makes you wish I was better at piano. Because this is amazing. Oh, that's so pretty. Man, okay. Todd's so talented. Like, I mainly know him from guitar playing. And, like, I knew he does key know he does keyboard. But this... I'm blown away. Because, oh, I can fall asleep to this. It's so nice. It's so relaxful. It's so peaceful. So nice, it's so nice. You can just close your eyes and listen to this and it takes you to a whole nother place. Uh, this is, this, this is something I needed today. This is something I needed. On oh, those lows. So good. So good. That's nice. I want to go listen to more off of the After Forever EP now, but <laughs> alas, we had to move on. That's something I'm going to listen to before I go to bed tonight. But now let's take a journey all the way back to one of his first EPs. I believe this was 2008, and this is from now. I believe this is now, according to Spotify, it's an album which is called Government. 
and we're going to be listening to the song Further Away From You. This is the pounding. <laughs> Sonically different. Did that voice at the beginning say this is the pounding? This is the pounding. Okay. <laughs> You're getting some looping in there. All right. Ooh. Okay, okay, Todd. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. We went from very pretty solo acoustic to piano to looping electronica. I'm for it. I really dig it. Oh, we have words, we have lyrics. Oh my. This really does remind me of like the 2008 vibe. 2008, I have vivid music memories and this would fit right in there. I mean, especially the way Todd is looking there. This reminds me of a lot of the No Fun Intended stuff Tyler did. It fits the vibe perfectly. It's nice. It's cool. And just that guitar too is so good. What's funny is I've never really listened to Todd sing before. I know he did background vocals for Mute Math, but I've never heard him sing solo. But dude has a good singing voice. I would be interested in listening to him here sing more. It's really cool. And this has a pretty piano sound too. I love it. Woo! That reverse in there. I view trade the reverse effects. I know I do really dig this. The only, only beef I have with this is that it is a very muddy recording. There is a lot of, it sounds muddy to me, but it's not bad, it's not a bad song at all. I really dig it, love the electronic elements in there too. Love this synth thing that's going on while I'm talking. The guitar tone, piano tone, all cool, all really cool. I would go see a government solo show. I would totally get to go see Todd solo. Because this is cool. This is really cool. Woo! Oh, that, those vocals, so good, so good. That's amazing, that's great. That's some cool bass stuff happening in that last part. Nice low-end piano stuff there. I, that, that's good. I really, really do enjoy that a lot. I really do enjoy that a lot. Only, only thing I don't get about this song is, this is the pounding. What, what exactly is that? But it, it's, it's really cool. I really do enjoy that. So, those are two government solo songs. And now, how can we leave a Todd government episode out if we don't talk about Mute Math, one of my favorite bands of all time? He came in during the Odd Soul era, so I figured I would show you my favorite song off of the Odd Soul album, but live thanks to the courtesy of the Mute Math channel, which is Blood Pressure. So good, Paul Me starts out on the organ. It is very, very wonderful. So good, it's so good. And like, I believe they did it on the Kimmel Show as well. It's really good there too. And it has Todd and guitar. It's perfect. So, 
the rest of this episode got corrupted. The GoPro decided to overheat, and sometimes when it overheats, it'll just turn off. But other times when it overheats, it'll keep going, but it'll corrupt whatever came before it. But luckily for us, it only corrupted blood pressure. So we still got the songs that I've never listened to before. But if you want to watch the full Mute Math Blood Pressure performance, just search Mute Math Blood Pressure Live, the Mute Math channel will pop up. And also the Kimmel performance, which is also really good as well. But other Mute Math songs that Todd Garment is in is Everything of Ight, Odd Soul, uh, Hit Parade, and Vitals. Some great songs I highly recommend. Odd Soul. Uh, Hit Parade's good, All I See is great, Monument's good, Walking Paranoia also great as well. <laughs> Just, Todd's an amazing, amazing musician as we discovered there. Great at guitar, a la blood pressure, great at piano, a la the first song we listened to and good at everything himself. Todd is one of the most amazing musicians in the sideband and really enjoy his work. And He's such a great guy. He's also a gearhead, so if you're interested in gear, definitely check out some of his interviews. It is really, he's a really awesome guy. And I'd love to meet him one day and just talk to him about music, gear, and all that stuff. But anyway, guys, what an abrupt end to today's episode. We have one more episode left where we're going to be talking about Dan Garati, whose bands I don't know. I don't know anything about Dan's other projects, so I'm going to do some research, and I'll see you guys here next week. See you tomorrow with I Don't Know What Yet, Thursday, Sideband, for live stream on Friday, review on Saturday, and the week continues. But anyway, guys, I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. And more importantly, have a good day today. I'll see you tomorrow, and hopefully the GoPro doesn't act up.